With most of us using our analytical skills to solve problems, creative thinking isn't as common as you might think. So which one are you? An outside-of-the-box thinker or an analytical genius? Solve these riddles and find out. Just don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us here on the Bright Side. Riddle number one. Here are three matches. Can you make a six out of them without breaking them into pieces? You have 10 seconds to do it. Who said the number has to be a standard six? The matches made a perfect Roman numeral three right from the get-go, so all you have to do is bring the bottoms of the first two matches towards each other, and you've got a Roman numeral six. If you crack that, add one point to your creative thinking skills. Riddle number two. Someone spent three whole days in the hospital, yet they were absolutely healthy. However, they still had to be carried out of the hospital. Why? Figure it out in 10 seconds. It's way simpler than you think. This person was a newborn baby. Aww. If you didn't get it right, don't worry. There are plenty of more riddles to go. Riddle number three. Check out this row of numbers. Can you figure out what number should replace the question mark here? Time is ticking. If your answer is number four, then great job. Your creative thinking is definitely fine-tuned. And if you didn't get it, take a closer look at the numbers once again. There's a simple pattern here. 5 minus 2 is 3, which is sitting right between those two numbers. Subtract 1 from 2, and you get 1, which is in the middle of them. So following this pattern, you take 5 away from 9 to get 4, the one and only correct answer. Riddle number 4. Two men walked up to a river. There was a boat on the shore that had space for only one passenger. Still, both men managed to reach the opposite side. How did they do it? I didn't say they were on the same shore, did I? So, the right answer is simple. They were on two different shores. Riddle number five. Now, let's test how naturally observant you are. Find the number 2017 here in 10 seconds. Let's go all the way down to the last row, and you'll spot it toward the bottom right corner. Ah, that's where you were hiding. Riddle number six. One man was 25 years old in 2000 and 20 years old in 2005. How is that possible? <laughs> no, this guy wasn't Benjamin Button. He just lived in BCE times. Try not to focus too much on analyzing the situation. Let your creative side loose. Riddle number seven. Now you've got the number 188. Can you get two 100s from it using only one line? Think it through. To get two perfect 100s, you just need to divide 188 in half with one horizontal line. This trick will give you two ones and four zeros, which is exactly what you're looking for. Easy peasy. Riddle number eight. Let's crank up the difficulty for an additional challenge. Imagine you're in the wild 
and there's a lion in front of you and a jaguar behind you. You have a tranquilizer with only one arrow. You have 10 seconds to figure your way out of this tough spot. So, what's the plan gonna be? I'd tranquilize the lion and drive off in the Jaguar. I mean, it's a pretty fast car, right? High five if that was your plan, too. Riddle number nine. Okay, back to number riddles. Here are 12 numbers. All you need to do is replace five of them with zeros so that the total of all these numbers will be 1,111. As always, you'll have 10 seconds to complete this task, but feel free to pause the video if you need a little more time. This one's a toughie. To get a total of 1,111, it's better to leave the first three ones alone. For the row of threes, let's replace two of them with zeros. Do the same with the row of sevens. Now we only have one replacement left. Let's do it to the row of nines. So, 111 plus three is 114, 114 plus seven is 121, and 121 plus 990 makes 1,111. Just a sharp eye and some simple math needed here, folks. Riddle number 10. Picture this. It's mid-January and a guy dressed in all black is slowly walking home from the movies. There's no light coming from the surrounding houses and the sky is covered in thick, heavy clouds. Out of nowhere, a speeding car with its headlights turned off comes towards him. Unable to stop the car in time, the driver hits the man. Is there any possible way that this driver could have seen the black-clad pedestrian? Yep, he could have easily spotted the man since all of this happened in middle of the day. Sure, the weather wasn't exactly bright and shiny, but I never said that it was nighttime now, did I? If you missed this detail, don't sweat it. You can redeem yourself with the next riddle. Riddle number 11. Here we have three horizontal equations and a vertical one on the right. Your job is to replace the numbers so that all four equations have correct answers. Once again, don't hesitate to pause the video for some extra time. Okay, so the correct solutions look nothing like the initial ones. The first row should be 9 minus 5 equals 4. The second row should be 6 divided by 3 is 2, and the third horizontal equation should be 1 plus 7 equals 8. Now the vertical equation 4 times 2 makes sense. <laughs> well, that was a challenge if I do say so myself. Riddle number 12. There's a basket with 6 eggs on the table. 6 people come up to the basket one by one and take one egg each. However, there's still one egg left in the basket. How is that even possible? It's very possible if the last person simply took the basket with the last egg in it instead of taking the egg and leaving the basket on the table. Talk about being practical! Riddle number 13. Check out this gigantic matchstick grid. We've got 30 big and small squares here. Can you change it completely into a figure with no squares just by removing 9 matches? You have 10 seconds to work your magic! No magic needed here. If we can't technically make squares, let's make some rectangles. So, pull two matches from the first vertical row between the first two and the last two squares to make two rectangles. For the second vertical row, take two more matches from the second and third squares to make one big rectangle. 
Let's change things up a bit for the third vertical row and take one match between the second and third squares and one matchstick from the very end to make another big rectangle. As for the last vertical row, we can do the same thing we did for the first one and remove two matchsticks between the first two and the last two squares. Okay, now we have two more squares and only one matchstick to pull. Removing this final matchstick between the second and third square of the first horizontal row will complete the task. Riddle number 14. We're so used to Friday coming after Thursday, right? And it loves to take its sweet time now, doesn't it? But it can be the other way around too. So, where does Friday actually come before Thursday? Take your time. Friday always comes before Thursday in the dictionary. If you have another valid answer for this one, leave it in the comments below. Maybe your creative thinking just found a cool new answer for the puzzle. Riddle number 15. All right, here's one more number riddle for you. This one is by writer Bernard Werber, and his question is simple. Which number will complete this number chain? Here's a little hint. Forget everything you know about math and use your creative thinking to the fullest. The pattern for this number progression is pretty simple. We have 1-1 one, one as the first number, right? So just write down what that sounds like, 1-1. One, one. Now we have another two ones, and again, write down how it sounds. 2, 1. That's 1, 2 and 1, 1, which is 1, 2, 1, 1 in this code. Moving forward, 1, 2, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 1, 2 and 2 ones, aka 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. Finally, for the last number 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, the right answer is 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2s and 2 ones, or 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. Riddle number 16. A young woman quietly walks into a cafe and asks the barista for a glass of water. However, the barista takes one look at her and screams at the top of his lungs. Oddly enough, the woman replies with a thank you and walks out. Um, what just happened here? You have 10 seconds to decide. This situation isn't as bizarre as it seems. The woman simply had the hiccups. The barista recognized it immediately and decided to scare the lady so that her hiccups would go away. The sudden unexpected shriek must have worked because she thanked him and left, no glass of water necessary. Riddle number 17. In this scene, a man was walking down the stairs at a hospital after visiting his wife when all the lights went out for about five minutes. That's when he realized that his poor wife had just passed away. How did he know this? Unfortunately, the man's wife wasn't just sick. She was on a life support machine. So when the power outage happened and the emergency generators failed, he knew that his wife was gone. If you came to the same conclusion, then you really do have a knack for thinking outside the box. And that concludes this riddle challenge. If you manage to get at least 12 of them right, then you're a bona fide creative thinker. If you crack less than 12 riddles, that means you're more analytical and logical. Which of these riddles was the most difficult for you to solve? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to give this video a like, challenge your friends by sharing it with them, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.